Everyone I know wants to be a great developer and sometimes a lot of videos on YouTube tend to hinder the truth about the feelings that we might have while learning web development that might really impact the way we learn and the way we take it forward. Now, this might hit some of you as hard as a brick. I'm going to spit some truth and I'm going to tell you about some feelings that you might be experiencing now or you might have in your career where a lot of people tend to give up. Psychological research tells us that we're not good at evaluating ourselves accurately as human beings. When I started web dev, I was exactly one of the people that experienced this feeling I'm talking about today, and I literally almost quit. You probably heard of the imposter syndrome, but have you heard of what the exact opposite of that is? Well, it's called the Dunning-Kruger effect. And it basically states that if you have a low ability at a certain task, in this case, web dev, you're highly more likely to overestimate your abilities. Now, the problem with that is that suddenly throughout your career, you start learning more and you get to that point where you have enough conscious to understand that actually what you know is nothing in comparison to what you need to know. And that hits you like a ton of bricks. And that is where most people give up. And that is where people start feeling hopeless because, well, you know HTML and CSS perhaps, but you found out about learning React, JavaScript, Node.js, a Grafana, a database, creating your own servers, and it just piles up on top of your head like it's uh, everything at once and you feel hopeless. Now listen carefully to this. You don't know enough to know that there is a lot that you don't know. Which basically means that you think you know a lot, but because of your inexperience, you actually don't know a lot, but you fail to notice that. Let me show you this visually. Now here is a graph of confidence against competence. When you are starting to learn web dev, you grasp the concepts of HTML and CSS, and suddenly you think you are an absolute legend and that you can build anything. This is the point at which you overestimate your abilities. Then a moment in time comes, perhaps you read the latest web developer tech roundup, and suddenly you realize you have so much to learn. This is where the weight on your shoulder gets super heavy, your confidence drops, and most people actually end up quitting right here, which is the worst. From here on is where you need to start applying the two tips I'll give to you in a second to really succeed and become an amazing developer. This is precisely why if you have more experience in coding, you realize your mistakes more and therefore you have less confidence as a developer. Now, here are two things that are extremely important, extremely important for you to do if you start feeling this way, because this is what's literally going to drive you forward and this is what's going to help you overcome that feeling. The first thing is get feedback. Your friends, your family, uh, web developer group chats, Discord, post your links to uh, the software you wrote and get feedback and consider it even if it's hard to hear. There's going to be a lot of feedback you get where people will disagree with you, question your decisions. Make sure you listen to them and make sure you learn and make sure you understand where they're coming from. This is how you're going to grow and this is how you're going to fill those little loopholes that you may have to become a better developer. The other extremely important thing is that you continue to learn, you continue to expand your knowledge and you just learn and learn and learn and put your time and effort into learning. Now I know learning is hard, especially when you feel like there is so many things that you still need to learn and you just feel crushed by that pressure. Once you realize that this is a feeling that happens to everyone, that so many people go through it, once you have the conscience to know that this is something that happens, you're going to be more willing to push through and to really make an effort into learning more and becoming better. Now, I know every single one of you is fully capable of being a great developer. There is absolutely never a reason for you to give up. Now, I know this and you should know this too. So make sure that if you ever feel the pressure of noticing the Dunning-Kruger effect and noticing that you have a lot of gaps to fill, you are at a good place because that means you've made progress from the last stage where you thought that you knew everything. 
and actually you didn't. So keep grinding, keep moving forward. I believe in you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.